Hello, my name is Todd Johnson, and I'm director of the Center for the Study of Global Christianity at Gordon-Conwell Theological Seminary just outside of Boston, Massachusetts. But as you can see here, this year, I'm doing a research study abroad where I'm trying to understand better what's going on here in Southeast Asia. I'm here in Chiang Mai, Thailand, doing this study. Did you know that 80% of all Christians in 1900 were either Europeans or North Americans? But today, that's less than 40%, which means the majority of Christians are Africans, Asians, and Latin Americans. In fact, we think by the year 2050 that over half of all Christians in the world will be Africans. Did you know that more money is stolen from churches in a year $50 billion last year, then is collected for Christian missions worldwide. Did you know that 86% of all Muslims, Hindus, and Buddhists do not personally know a Christian? And did you know that there are 45,000 Christian denominations and networks all around the world, mostly Protestant and independent? We study Christianity in every single country in the world. We look at all the different denominations, Bible translation, Christian outreach, every activity that Christians are involved in where we can provide some kind of measurement. We're unique in that we do study every single country of the world and every Christian tradition within each country. We're unique in that we study Christianity over time so we can see changes even as far back as 1900 or 1800, even all the way back to the time of Christ. And we're unique in that we're an interdisciplinary research center. We are interested in, in the findings of sociology, anthropology, history, religious studies, any way that people are, un, are able to understand Christianity, we're interested in that. 50 years ago, Anglican missionary David Barrett was in Africa, actually in Nairobi, Kenya. He was studying 6,000 different African-initiated movements within Christianity. And that's the beginning of the work of the center. Uh, he then expanded his research to include all of Africa and then the rest of the world. And in 1981, he produced the monumental World Christian Encyclopedia published by Oxford University Press. A few years later, I joined Barrett in his research, and together we produced the second edition of the World Christian Encyclopedia. In 2003, we moved the work up to Gordon-Conwell Theological Seminary in Boston, and you won't believe it, but we're now working on the third edition of this monumental encyclopedia describing Christianity in every country of the world. We've also produced an atlas of global Christianity, which was a way that we could map these remarkable changes within Christianity over the past 100 years. This atlas looks at every region of the world and shows the changes from 1910 to 2010. In some places, Christianity is growing. In other places, it's shrinking. But it gives an accurate look at these changes over time. We also maintain something called the World Christian Database, which is hundreds and thousands of statistics related to Christianity around the world, including listing all of these denominations and looking at various attributes of Christianity, including Bible translation. In addition, we publish every year a statistical update in two different places. One in the Encyclopedia Britannica, where it goes into almanacs and all sorts of different publications, and the other in the International Bulletin of Missionary Research, where Christian leaders from around the world get an update of the latest in Christian, uh, Christianity worldwide. We have contacts in every country of the world who help us to better understand what's happening in the Christian churches in each of those countries. But we also need people to be scouring the academic literature to find out what's been published on Christianity all around the world. And to do that, we need the help of graduate students who we can hire on a part-time basis to help us to better understand the literature. 
We're surrounded by graduate students in Boston, but we lack the funding to hire the people we need to do a really good job in uh, describing Christianity around the world. If you're interested in helping us, you can go to www.worldchristianresearch.org and there's a way to partner with us there and we'd be extremely grateful.